Titus a newborn lamb, I'm now Sir Margaret Croy. <laughs> with great precision, without illusion, Sir Reuben Margaret Croy. <laughs> And I was once his pallid son, a steward I now employ. <laughs> <laughs> the Dickens may take him, I'll never forsake him, a steward I now employ. How <laughs> dreadful!
hour at last, day. Know ye not that I have those within my court who at my lightest bidding would immure ye in an uncomfortable cell? What ho, in there? Wait, 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 we're prepared for this. <laughs> this is a flag. That none shall dare defy. And while this glorious flag hangs over Rose May Bud's head, there ain't a, a man in this world who would dare lay a license stand upon her. Foiled, and alas, by a union jack. <laughs> <laughs> but have you known there will come a time soon when I. Nay! Hey! Ned, let me think of him. So, Riven, have pity. In my book of etiquette, the case of a maiden about to be wedded to one who unexpectedly turns out to be a bad baronet of Rottergord is not considered. Time was when you loved me madly. Prove that this was no selfish love by according your consent to my marriage to one who, if it be not you yourself, is the next best thing, your dearest friend. <laughs> Soften your long dead hearts and tune your souls to mercy on your poor prosperity.
likeness? Pretty well, flattering. Because that's a work of art. You're on poor. I'm a little faded. I've only been painted ten years. In matter of fact, in a couple of centuries, I shall be an old master. Then you'll be very sorry you spoke lightly of me. And uh, may I ask, why have you left your friends? It is our duty to see that our success commits a daily crime to the conscientious and white man like fashion. It is our duty to remind you that you invade the conditions of what you're permitted to exist. Really? Well, I don't know what you have. I've only been a bad baronet a week, and I've already committed a crime punctually every day. Let us inquire to this. Monday. Monday was a bank holiday. <laughs> Tuesday. On Tuesday, I made a false income tax return. <laughs> That's nothing. Nothing at all. Everybody does that. It's inspectional. <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesday, I forged a wheel. Oh, well. My own. I did, sir. You can't forge your own will. Can't I? I did. Besides, if a man can't forge his own will, whose will can he forge? Uh, there's something to that. That's a possibility. At first sight, it does. Oh, Stars it somewhere, I fancy. Yeah. Yeah. A man can do what he likes. Yeah. Sure. Well, then he can forge his own will. Can't he, stupid? On Thursday, I shot a fox. But that's better. What well, past the fox? Yeah. Yes, past the fox. Friday. On Friday. Friday. Friday, I forged a check. Who's check? Old Adams. But Old Adams wasn't a banker. No, I didn't say I forged his bank, I said I forged his check. On Saturday, I disinherited my only son. But, but, but you do not have a son. No, not yet. I disinherited him in advance, to see. To save time, by this arrangement, he'll be born ready disinherited. I do not think you can do that. Oh, my good fellow, if I can't disinherit my only unborn son, whose unborn son can I disinherit? <laughs> oh, these arguments sound very well, but if they reduce to a logistic form, they would not hold water. Now, understand us. We may be foggy, but we do not permit our fogginess to be presumed upon. Unless you... Carry off a lady. Yeah, yes, it was a favour of carrying off a lady. Hey. 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 Those of the contrary opinion. Oh, you are never satisfied. Hey. Hey. Unless you carry off a lady at once. I don't care what lady. Choose a lady, any lady. Or perish in inconceivable agonies. Carry off a lady? Certainly not, on any account. I have great respect for ladies and wouldn't do anything of the kind for words. <laughs> no, no, I'm not that kind of baronet, I can assure you. Now, if that's all you've got to say, you better go back to your frames. Very well. Then let the agonies commence. <laughs> <laughs> Oh!
Oh man, you, you, look, you look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> all that, and it won't do. I've seen them all. My ancestors, they were just here. They say I must do something terrible at once or perish in inconceivable agonies. Oh, go, go to your village. Carry off a maiden. Bring her here at once. Anyone, I don't care which. What? Not a word, but a maiden! Do not do it as you are, administering a bowl of deadly 
it upsets them. And when you are feasting sick and find you're not as well as they expected, why go into hysterics? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 